Hello Cowley, my name is Charlie Hicks, I'm the Labour County Council candidate and this is an update video about the Cowley Low Traffic Neighbourhoods experiments. Oxfordshire County Council has made the decision to go ahead with the low traffic neighbourhoods in Cowley, starting as a six month experiment with a staggered rollout in March. This decision followed a consultation before Christmas where over 70% of residents said that they were in favour of the schemes going ahead. In this video I'm going to go through a bit of the background, have a look at the plans in detail, go through what the County Council have said so far, what we're doing as your Cowley Labour team and the timeline and how you can have your say as the schemes move forward. Starting with a quick background, this is an Oxfordshire County Council scheme led by the Tories, so final decisions on the schemes are made by council officers and the Conservatives. John Sanders there on the left is the Labour County Councillor for Cowley, I'm the Labour County candidate there on the right. Our position is we're in favour and happy the LTNs are going ahead because we think the benefits will outweigh the costs. At the same time, we will hold the County Council to account to ensure proper delivery, evaluation and consultation of the schemes so that residents have their voices heard throughout. Why are the LTNs coming to Cowley? Here are some pictures of Cowley at the moment, which is being impacted by lots of shortcutting traffic. This causes two main issues. One is a lot of congestion on residential streets there on the left, and the other is speeding traffic causing accidents like the picture on the right. This is something that impacts Cowley a lot more than other surrounding areas which don't have shortcutting traffic. So that's why these schemes are being brought into Cowley. We want for Cowley streets that are safe for walking and cycling, which encourage zero carbon transport while maintaining access for cars to every address in the neighborhood. I made a separate video that goes through the detail of the expected costs and benefits. If you'd like to see that, I'll put a link in the description below. Let's have a look at the plans in some detail. First up, Church Cowley. The filters will be installed from the 1st of March. This is where the filters will go. Let's start with a look at what they'll look like. The squares on the map are the planters. This is what the majority of filters will look like. Wooden boxes with plants in that go across the road. They allow through walking and cycling, but not motor vehicles. The circles on the map are camera operated bus gates. These have a large gap in the middle, enough to allow through buses and taxis, so bus routes are unaffected. Private cars won't be allowed through, and these will be operated by cameras just like the bus gate on the high street. So where are they going to go? There'll be planters on Churchill Road, Mayfair Road, Beecham Lane, Littlemore Road and Little Road, and a bus gate on Bartholomew Road. This is so all shortcutting routes through Church Cowley are blocked off, while still enabling all addresses in the neighbourhood to be accessible by car for residents, visitors, deliveries and so on. The one change from the original plans is to allow taxis and private hire vehicles through the bus gate on Bartholomew Road in addition to buses. That change is based on feedback from the consultation. I encourage you to have a think about how your routes will be changed by car as a result of these plans and which junctions in and out of the neighbourhood you will need to use. I've marked the main ones on here. Every route is still accessible by foot and bicycle and bus routes are unaffected. It's a good time to stress that this is an experiment so the location of these filters are adaptable according to resonant feedback and what happens with traffic flows. The whole scheme will be closely reviewed by the council. In particular, we are encouraging the council to pay close attention to Newman Road and the difficult right turn onto Rose Hill, the Mayfair Road filter and its impact on surrounding streets like Westby Crescent, and the Bartholomew Road bus gate and what impact will be at school drop off and pick up times. Next is Florence Park. Filters will start to be installed from the 8th of March. There will be a bus gate on Cornwallis Road just to the east of Cornwallis Close. This too will allow through taxis as well as buses and there'll be planters on Rymers Lane, Little Hay Road and Clive Road. Here are the entrances and exits to the neighbourhood and I encourage you to have a think about how your routes, if travelling by car, may change as a result of these plans. The whole scheme will be kept under close review by the council and we're calling on the council to pay particular close attention to traffic levels on Church Cowley Road and Oxford Road. And then the Temple Cowley LTN. Filters will be introduced from the 15th of March and there are going to be planters on Crescent Road and Sailgate Lane in these positions. And there are a couple of changes based on the feedback from residents and other groups in the consultation. The filter on Junction Road is to move north, to be north of Don Bosco Close and the entrance to Temple Cloisters. And at the request of refuse services, that's bin lorries, the filter on Temple Road will be a lockable bollard rather than planters. Here's a picture of what that might look like from an equivalent scheme. Additionally, the council has announced its intention to introduce a school street on Temple Road. That means the road would not be accessible to non-residential cars during drop-off and pick-up times, but would still be accessible to residents and school staff. This encourages children and families to walk and cycle to school if they can. This is still to be confirmed, but that's what the council has indicated, starting at the same time as the LTN. Here's a picture of a school street in Hackney, celebrating a more child-friendly use of the space. I've marked on here the main entrances and exits to the neighbourhood and encourage you to think about your new routes. The areas we're encouraging the council to keep a close eye on include traffic levels on Oxford Road and the impact on local schools. The decision was made in a public meeting in January by the Cabinet Member for Environment and Transport at Oxfordshire County Council. Here are some of the key points she made in that meeting, which I think is important to touch on to understand how the council is thinking about this. 
She said, I find that it's extraordinary support for these schemes in the community. This is referring to there being over 70% support from residents who completed the pre-implementation consultation. She said, we will give it time before making a decision on the future of the schemes. I think this is important because the schemes will take some time to bed in. They work in part due to behavior change. If people choose to walk or cycle for short journeys rather than take the car, for example. Those new habits take some weeks or months to happen. So it's important to give it some time before assessing the impact of the schemes. She said, these schemes have been designed so that every address is accessible by car. There is no intention to shut people off. As your Cowley Labour team, we think this is particularly important for people with reduced mobility and for taxi services. And we're especially keen to hear from those groups about how the LTNs are impacting you. She said, I want to thank Councillor John Sanders for his enthusiasm and for finding the funding for these schemes. So she paid tribute to John for his tireless work over the last year in securing the funding, talking with hundreds of residents about the schemes and being the driving force for this within the council. I should also note that this funding has come from national government rather than existing council budgets. After talking with many residents in that same public meeting, I made some suggestions to the cabinet member about the schemes. Residents want good road signs, both at the entrances to the LTN so that drivers know about the changes and roads open signs on these filters, which are friendlier and more welcoming. Residents want a good and easy to use consultation. Many other local councils running LTN schemes are using this great website called Commonplace, which is very easy to use and allows residents to give detailed feedback on specific locations on the scheme. So I've asked the council to look into using this too. Finally, as your Labour team, we're calling on the council to have a very thorough evaluation, including all these areas. It's what residents are calling for, and we think it's very important when assessing the impact of the schemes to make the best decision for Cowley. It's also worth mentioning that all emergency services and waste services have looked through these plans and giving them the green light to go ahead. So let's have a look at the timeline and what's coming up next. The experiment will start in March this year. The council will make a decision after six months on the next steps, whether to abandon, to make permanent or to extend the experiment, which could be up to a further 12 months, so 18 months total before making a final decision. There'll be a public consultation that runs alongside the experiment and I encourage everyone to let the council know how it's going for you. We would love to hear from you as your Cowley Labour team. We put together a short Google form for questions on the LTNs and to set up local Zoom meetings for residents to discuss how the schemes are going with myself, with John Sanders and the Labour Cowley team. I'll put a link to the form in the description below. Here's John and my contact details. If you'd like to get in touch via email or Facebook, please share this video with friends, family and neighbours so everyone has the information they need on the LTNs. And finally, here's a word from Labour County Councillor John Sanders on the LTNs. The Low Traffic Neighbourhood Project has been an example of how the different political parties have been able to cooperate for the benefit of the local community. We certainly couldn't have progressed this far without the support of the many political parties, residence groups and the two councils and many of the Cowley residents. The County Council has made great efforts formally to contact as many residents as possible to ensure that people uh, understand what's been proposed and to consider carefully the important issues that the measures entail. I had the opportunity to visit one of the first LTNs in Waltham Forest uh, back in uh, tw September 2019 and was amazed how quiet the residential streets were and how even the main roads on an arterial route into the city were reasonably quiet. Residents and even the shopkeepers were enjoying quiet streets and busy local shops. It's important to stress at this point that the project is an experiment and the council will pay the closest attention to how the project progresses. It will be reviewed in six months and in the meanwhile residents will be able to comment on the progress of the LTN project. If the council decides to continue with the project it will continue for a further 12 months when a final decision is made. And I know that some people will find the system different from what they're used to, but I'm sure that most will enjoy the quiet streets and give the project a chance to succeed.